Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our conditional jump step. Before we start, please do click subscribe down below if you're interested in learning more about browser automation and, of course, Axiom.ai. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So you'll see on screen, I've got my step selector open and I've clicked on logic to filter the steps down. And you can see here the conditional jump step. Now, if I wanted to add that step, you simply click it, but I've already added one to the axiom I'm about to show you. Now, I've added the jump step to the bottom because I'm going to use it to jump back to the start again. Yes, that's right. You can use the conditional jump step to make loops or just to hop between steps to miss, to skip a few steps if you don't need to do them when a condition is met. So just to repeat that, the main uses for this step are to build a loop. In this case, I've put the jump step at the bottom of all the steps to loop back to the start. Or you can use the conditional jump to just basically um, hop between steps and skip out steps if a condition is met. OK, how easy is it to set up? Pretty damn simple. So this step works by fetching some data to check against and you pass that in the form of a variable, and that can be from a custom step to from a Google Sheet, pretty much flexible to how you want to work it. Then you add the value you want to check for. So I want to check for go. You switch it to, you set your word matching mode. In most cases, it's best to do it to any. You can set your um, match on word boundary. In this case, I haven't. And then the fun part, you set the step you want to jump to. In this case, I'm jumping all the way back from step number nine to step number two. And finally, you add the amount of jump steps you want to make. So this jump step will execute a thousand times before it stops. Now, what happens if the condition isn't met, you're asking? Well, then the bot simply continues running unless it comes to the final step in this case the bot would just simply stop okay that's how easy it is to use now let me just talk you through how i've um, used it in this axiom just to give you a little bit more understanding of why or where it's good to use so this bot is basically a scraper in step two i read a url in steps three to five i essentially scrape some data step six i write that data to a sheet then I delete the URL I've just read from the Google Sheet before I go back to the start by using the conditional jump step because that conditional jump step checks the step one to see if condition is met. And of course, how I've got it set up, the condition is always met. So it's just basically a never ending loop. Well, to be um, precise, it's a loop that will go around a thousand times. So that's pretty cool. Um, essentially, I've created a bot that's going to keep looping a thousand times performing my scrape. Okay, so that's how you can use the conditional jump. I hope you found this video useful. Please do click subscribe to learn more and um, check out our Academy pages if you want to learn any other details about using Axiom and please if you need some support do get in touch. Thank you.